Here we go. Ura! I'll show you. Going down at roughly the same time. Ura down first, though. No two minute stare down here. Ura getting low. Hoshoryu attacking the shoulders. And Ura drags him across the ring. Pulls him down, and the crowd loves it. Hoshoryu. You hear the applause. He couldn't keep his feet under him, and the crowd loves it. It's not the Tsutai Zori, but it is an exciting Ura win. And who would have thought Hoshoryu would be the one to drop a match day one? Right. <laughs> Uda bouncing around down and ready. What kind of tricks will he have today? Goes low, nearly had the belt, but Teruno Fuji attacks that left arm, goes for the arm bar throw, and there he goes, tumbling out of the ring. That's exactly what happened last time. Teruno Fuji attacks that inside right arm with both of his arms. Wrapping it around, spinning him for that armbar throw, and Uda has no choice but to go with it. Literally the same match as at the previous tournament. Teruno Fuji gets the win against Ura. Ura down first. Hirishima attacking the shoulders, gets to the side, pulls the arm, pushes at the chest, but Ura survives, scoops, and throws him down. Kirishima misses the attack. Uda got to the side. That super low dip of the hips. It looks like Kirishima wasn't expecting it. Ura, two in one. Waifu K show. <laughs> Ura, down first. Takakesho attacks the shoulders, Ura gets to the side, Ura sliding back all the way across the ring, Takakesho matches the scoop downs perfectly, has him at the edge, Yori Kiri, Takakesho. And that's exactly what I was talking about, he counters Ura's style perfectly, just through his own body type. Patiently waiting and watching for Uda to try to dip low for the belt so he could immediately counter with his own parry and follow through. Ah, Kotonowaka. Ura gets low, tries to scoop up into the armpits. Kataskashi! What a swift move for Ura! One second, he's got both hands under the armpits. The next one, he's pulling Kotonowaka into the pits of hell. Ura, a swift and beautiful win. How a tournament works. Oh, he already won the tournament by the time that day happened. Oh, sumo is cool. Oh, wow, this is all the intricacies of sumo. And it just fell in love from there. Uda tries to dive low. Daesho attacking the head and shoulders like I said he would. Uda gets to the side, trying to keep his distance, but Daesho keeping cool, staying in the middle of the ring, hitting him on the chest. Uda leaping away, grabs the leg, but Uda already stepped out. Ah, you saw it. He grabbed the leg. He was ready to go for the leg pick, but he had already jumped out of the ring. Daesho playing it patiently. Uda, a fatal mistake at the edge. General idea is they don't support anyone in particular. They just support the sport of sumo itself. Basically just a giant fan club for sumo. Uda got low. He got the good turn, but now Wakamoto Haru back on the push. Uda lost the grip on the inside left. Big shot to the chest for Wakamoto Haru. Sends Uda tumbling into the audience. Five and two for Wakamoto Haru. Uda down first. Abi. Slow misses the charge. Actually missed the slap, I mean. But he attacks the shoulders, attacks the chest. And it didn't matter that he missed that big left hand slap. Gets the push out and the win. Ura flailing. Couldn't do anything about it. 
One. No, that's not even a technique prize. That's a Gino show. He has one special prize in his career. And a couple of Kimboshi. Ura! Takes the charge from Asanayama. Really picks him up, but Asanayama pushes through. Oh, the, they both went flying! Ura with the win. He threw Asanayama down at the last second. Oh, wow. The children are happy. Ura slow to get up, though. Ura versus Nishikigi. Can Nishikigi claw back to a respectable record, or will Ura send him tumbling down the Banzuke? Grabs the leg! The leg pick! You blink and you miss that one. Ashitori was the move from Ura. Although it wasn't the finisher, which will probably just be an Oshidashi. Immediately attacks the leg off the Tachiai. Nishikigi didn't expect it. And just as quick as it came, it went. A match of destiny here, both at 5-5. Five and five. Both want that Komusubi slot. Ura tries to pull back, but Atami Fuji controls him at the edge. Ura hops back to the middle of the ring, but it's still an awkward grip. Atami Fuji back the other way, picks him up and over the edge. Atami Fuji, six and five, full control the entire way. My reaction is timed with the rest of chat. Yeah, it, it is. Seen that dude sipping some sake in the back over there, too. You and me both, brother. Ura down first. Big charge from Eisei as he pushes Ura all the way back to the edge, but Ura, perfect resistance. Now he's pushing forward, nearly lost his footing, steps to the side, trying to attack from the side, but Meisei sticks with him. Meisei attacking the head. Ura gets behind him and throws him out of the ring. Six and six for Ura. Deals out the Make Koshi to Meisei. And the crowd loves it. What a move to get behind Meisei. Hobizaru flipped the script back his way. Hobizaru down first. Takes the charge. Slaps the head of Ura. Gets bounced back. Tobizaru still slapping the head and shoulders, trying to slap down Uda, and there he goes! Tumbles across the ring. Make sure to stick the landing. Tobizaru, 7 and 6. Uda still has two days to recover and make it to that open Komusubi spot, but does he have it in him? Yes, they are. Ura versus Hira Doumi. Hirata Umi taking the charge. Ura gets the inside right, tries to wrap it on the belt, and he does. Stalemated now. Ura pulling back wildly, going for a throw off the dojo. Ura improves to 7-7, seven and seven, and with one more win, he can move back up to Komusubi. There's a Mono E though. Not sure what for. What could the call be? I I honestly did not see anything live. And whatever the hell is going on with Abema's cameras is really weird. <laughs> They might be in hair pull, maybe? It wasn't a grab on the top knot, but the back of the head. I, I'm not sure what the call is. Could be hair pull. Let's watch that again. Uda pulls back, 
stepping back, grabs around the back of the head. He is making a fist back there, so it is possible he's gra- Oh, that was fast. Hansoku, the crowd hates it. He's shaking his head. It was indeed a hair pull, the first one of the tournament at least. But that's got to feel bad, Hiraraumi Kachikoshi. Ura! That was the correct call though, honestly. Hair pull on the back of the head. Same for Oho, if he were to get a 7 and 8. So there is a little more on the line here than you might think. Six and nine for one of these guys. Uda getting batted back over and over again. Pulls the arm of Oho, who tries to pull back for a throw down. Now he's back on the push. Good shot to the face, good shot to the chest. And Uda falls flat on his back. Having a tough time getting back up too. Oho, seven and eight. Next up, we're going to see Keen Bolzom versus Anish Kigi. 